Good morning and welcome to the IM04 Get to Know Me More show, a show where we interview some students from the M5 IM to know more about them. Today, I'm with Karina. Welcome, Karina. I'm Blue Jay. Pleased to meet you. Hi, Blue Jay. It's a pleasure meeting you too. How have you been? Oh, I've been perfect. Thank you. What about you? I've been great. Thanks. So, without further ado, let's start. Can you tell me about yourself? My name is Washira Pon Mandit Nehru. You can call me Goina. I'm a 16-year-old student at Satit Prasan Mid School, majoring in Innovative English. I'm a sociable individual. I usually get along well with others. I'm constantly energized. I also put in a lot of effort and take responsibilities for my actions. I am trustworthy and humble. I'm passionate about personal growth. I like to try new things in life with the hopes of learning valuable lessons. I've held host roles for a number of school events and represented my major on the school's open house day. So I've had experience with socially related activities. I intend to participate in more activities in the future. Oh, that's nice. Next question. What do you hope to be in 10 years? I'm currently 16 years old, which means I'll be 26 in another 10 years. By then, I would have earned my diploma. My dream job would be one where I could put my skills and expertise to good use while earning a wonderful salary. But even so, I might not be satisfied. It's never too late to learn. Therefore, I might continue to work towards my master's degree. In order to enjoy my youth and be the best version of myself, I also aspire to achieve a healthy work-life balance. Whoa, that sounds great. I hope you get what you want. Next, what's your biggest accomplishment? I would say passing the POSN, which is Astrology Olympiad, is my greatest accomplishment. My teacher registered me for this exam when I was in M3. I succeed in the test, earning the opportunity to enroll in the camp where young athletes are trained for International Olympiad. Normally, I would have needed to go to various cities in Thailand to participate in activities like stargazing. But due to the pandemic, we were forced to stay in class and learn the theories. I had the chance to take advantage of this uncommon opportunity, so I'm really proud of myself, even though I didn't get to participate in many activities. That's awesome! That's the test that's like extremely difficult, right? Yes, yes, that one. The very difficult one. I'm not sure how I did it, but I did it. I guess my hard work paid off. So now, what are your greatest strengths? I'll say I am incredibly generous and upbeat. I'm constantly bursting with energy. I don't pass judgment and I'm really understanding. I don't pick up on other people's pessimistic attitudes because I give a lot of consideration to other people's feelings. I've always made sure to hear both sides of the issue before drawing any judgments. Along with being pleasant, I also have excellent communication abilities. I enjoy learning new things because it broadens my knowledge. Finally, I have a great deal of responsibilities and dependability. Since I am trustworthy and accept full responsibilities for my acts, many people have confidence in me. Mmm, nice, nice. What about your greatest weakness then? Well, I've already said that I'm not egotistical, but occasionally I give too much. Even when I don't want to, I put other people's needs before mine. I put my needs aside and let others do what they choose. As a result, I am unable to express my true feelings and thoughts. And I'm impartial, which sometimes gives the impression that I have two faces. Due to my gullibility, to manipulate me and take advantage of me is very simple. I'm trying to improve on that because if you're weak, you can't succeed. Well, yes, you have to be strong. I wish you all the best. Thank you for joining us today and telling us about yourself, Karina. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for having me here.